Welcome back to more. What is this stupid game we're playing? The mm -hmm. Gina Sisters Twisted Dreams Director. Gina Sisters cut? something. <laughs> the Vagina Sisters? Probably. The Vagina Monologues, the video game? Yeah, yeah, that thing. That would be terrifying to watch. Oh. Just lips flapping and all you hear is. Why is his mouth so moist? You. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. G I Joe. Oh, G I. I don't know how to spell. There's an A there. What? Ah, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Auto completes like not working so great for this. All oh, right. So it has. Oh, it's also a Steam game. Nine out of ten on Steam. Eighty percent on Metacritic. And eight out of ten on GameSpot. Really? 95% from uh, Google users. This used to be a Commodore 64 title. What? Yep. That is ridiculous. Uh, this is actually a Microsoft title. Developed by Black Forest Games. I like their cake. <laughs> mm, you can go home now. So, you see. don't like Black Forest cake? Nope. Get the... Oh, those are spikes. They just look like crystals to me. Uh, you can also buy this on goodoldgames.com. Really? Yep. I don't like the new Google. What happened to Google to make you despise it so much? Uh, I don't know if it's for desktop, but on mobile it has like... A whole bunch of new tabs for like oh, uh, overview and videos and reviews and people also search. Oh yeah, for it. I noticed that yesterday. And then below it, it has like actual screenshots from the game and a whole bunch of other stuff. And then it goes into like Steam reviews and then it goes into top results, which is Wikipedia and uh, Steam. And then it loads people also searched for, including like a whole bunch of other games. And then videos in a stupid slidey box that I hate. More results. And, like, no actual results until you go all the way to the very bottom you have to hit next. Okay. Then it loads search results. Oh, my lord. Why can't they make it easy? However, they're all sponsored search results on this page. So it's, uh... Um... Xbox Marketplace, PlayStation Store, Facebook, uh... uh this fandom game page, Steam, Amazon, Amazon, Amazon... And then a whole bunch of links to stores that you can buy this game in for $30. Really? Yep. $30 seems like a little bit much. How much did you pay for this? Don't ask me. Too much. Page 3. Add. Best Buy. Uh, EA Help. IMDB. Origin. Amazon. 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 Page 4. No search results. Page 5. Nope, we're going to keep going until we hate actual search results. Take a guess on how many pages I have to go. Twelve. Actually, you're going to give up before twelve. Am I? So, six. Rock, paper, shotgun, SoundCloud. Okay, uh, seven. Seven? Yep. Oh, I was one off. God dang it. This game is good. Yeah, they, they even changed how they're displaying search results, so now each single website is its own, I would say, grouping? Because they're all divided now, it's not just a list. They're all, like, have subgroups and subcategories. Why? Yeah, and you gotta, like, tap one and, like, go to it and search through that. And... Seems like Whoops. a butt. Google, why do you do this? Why must you change it so much? It just worked before, and now it's actual work. <laughs> now it's work to find what you want. I think this is the day where I switched to DuckDuckGo. No! Yep. DuckDuckGo has DuckDuckGone. No, it's not. It still exists. Okay, but so? <laughs> what do you mean, so? So? All right, Duck Duck Go. What do you got? Hey, it actually look fucking works. Look at that. <laughs> um, Amazon, Steam, Wikipedia, Amazon, Gamespot, 
THQ Nordic, YouTube, 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 TV Tropes, uh, good old games, Microsoft. Yep. So, have many games done this concept of two platformers in one, except better? Um, the only one I can think of off the top of my head is a 3DS game called Switch Force. I believe that's what it's called. Oh my god. And it swaps between top and bottom screens. Okay. If I could just spell it. God dang. Have you been swimming this year? Yes. How's the water? Uh, in the swimming pool? It's pretty nice. Uh, you yeah. Haven't, you haven't been to the lake yet? No, why would I go to the lake? I don't want to swim where fish pee nature's disgusting nature's so gross <laughs> oh have you gone swimming nope it's been a, a uh, couple years why did i even ask <laughs> good god you can see your hair hasn't gotten wet in months i shower sometimes <laughs> thanks <laughs> uh yeah uh, there's a switch force one and two now that just reminds me of the game Jump Force. You heard of it? Oh man, look at that art. Oh baby. Let's see this art. Dim titties, yo. Check that one okay, out. Okay, so the description of this is, is a lady mixed with a cop car with a gun and skin tight suit with molded titties. Mm. I hope that is uh, That's enough what description. Are made of. Sweet dreams are made of these. Good show, good show. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I mean, the official art's no better. Mo better. Mo better. The official art is mo better. Shut up. The, yeah, the official artwork isn't any better than that. Really? Really, really. Wait, was that the... Uh... It's slightly more cartoony, but it's about the same. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's about the same. Yep. Still skin tight suits, still half a cop car person. Yep. That sounds weird. It does sound so strange when you say it like that, but it's not wrong. However, there's another piece of official artwork where it's... I guess they're convicts and they're dressed in like blue striped uniforms and they're cleaning a cop car. But they're all very scantily clad. Oh. They all look like cheerleaders. Why are they all cheerleaders? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's going to become my new desktop wallpaper now, but I don't know. Yeah. Huh. This whole game is like that. It's like a red versus blue kind of theme to it, so there's the red side is a whole bunch of firefighters. Oh. Yeah. And the other side is cops. I don't see how there's much uh, integration between those two things. One's dealing with criminals, the other is dealing with... <gasps> Maybe it's like Rescue Heroes. Ooh. Yeah, I remember those. The TV show? I remember Rescue Heroes. Rescue heroes! Oh man. Did you ever have any of the toys? Yeah. I didn't. I actually have a rescue bot in my house right now. <gasps> it's a uh, fire truck that you can change into a robot. To be fair, it's probably not yours. No, it's mine. Is it? Yeah. Actually, really? Yeah. On purpose? Yeah. My <laughs> parents found it in their. Uh, storage room and they're like oh this is yours do you want it and i'm like hell yeah nice oh man i don't remember the show at all now that i'm looking at screenshots of it i'm like why did i watch this <laughs> why did you watch it dude's got like the biggest burliest chest and then you look over to his side er, sidekick and she's got the biggest burliest chest oh yeah oh my god barrel chested woman hell yeah wait a minute are we playing sonic again are we Almost. Looks like the same kind of thing. Kind of. Hey, you did a thing. Swap over? No. Whoop. Good job. I don't get do you, this game. Do you rem rem remember the uh, Inspector Gadgets re release? Gadget the Gadget Kings? No. You never watched that? No, I did not. Because they redid Penny as a character, and then Penny had two sidekicks. Because they, you can't 
like leave a kid alone anymore, right? So they yeah. had to like give some sort of supervision. At supervision, all times. Yeah. yeah. So she had two little robot sidekicks. Red really? And blue robot. Yeah. I can't believe that they made that a thing where you have to have the supervision even in a cartoon. Yep. So if you take a look at this screenshot, those are two of the Gadgetinis. Oh my god. Yeah. That is terrifying. I do not want them watching me or my children. But like, look at this amazing art of Gadget and Penny. Okay, that's pretty good art. Yeah, that's official artwork too. It's from the uh, TV Tropes and IMDb. Yeah. Huh. Cool. I mean, the stories didn't change much, but... It's Except gadget. they have more characters yeah. to work with. I didn't mind it. It was fine. <laughs> Good luck trying to find an official uh, release of it, though. Nope, gotta pirate it. Gotta pirate everything. Nothing exists anymore without pirates. Look at this screenshot from the TV show. There's like a Western theme. Going a Western on here. theme? Oh Isn't that my amazing? god. I love it. Penny looks so happy. But everyone what? is all weird and barrel chested and standing awkwardly and for some reason Gadget has a little badge on his like, on his like an ID badge. I guess he's supposed to be a good guy now where he's like, oh I'm uh instead of just incompetent. Yeah. That's probably it, actually. There's a a height character model. What are they called? Diagram, I guess. Yeah. Where it has like the heights of all the characters stacked side by side. Yeah. Look how clean that art is. That is very clean art. I remember they would go off model quite a bit in the show. That used to be the charm of a lot of older television shows, the uh, going off model. What do you mean older shows? Well, not even. Have old. you never watched Steven Universe and like checked it scene by scene? No. And no, I or, or seen any of these scene comparison videos? No. That is terrifyingly off model in every scene. Well, good. It gives it personality, like old Simpsons. It's not just like Steven, where he because he has gem powers, so he can change his own heights. It's all the characters are like that. It's frustrating. It's interesting. It adds character. You add character. Yes. Yes, I do. Are we done with this silly little game? I haven't been paying attention to it at all. Now I'm looking at um, screenshots oh. from Gadget and the Gadgetinis, and here's one of... From the TV show... Oh my. Yeah. Scantily clad with two weird <laughs> heads poking out and two guys. <laughs> okay. That's a little odd. So Don't know how it, I feel yeah, about that. Yeah, it's Penny sitting on a beach in a, like a tank top. And, uh, like, sports bra, pretty much. There's a couple much. of gadgetinis and maybe some aliens in the background. It's weird. Yeah, this is all official artwork I've been showing you. No fan Really? Here. Yeah. Here's one of like Penny and the two gadgetinis tied up to a chair. And Gadget's like standing there laughing. Explain that. He tied them up to a chair and he's laughing? or I don't know. I don't remember that at all. That's terrifying. But there's like a bomb strapped to the chair. I don't get it. This is very strange. Mm. I, I think I actually have to find a copy of this somewhere. Yep, I'm going to do that right now. Um, while I'm doing that, we're going to... Leave off of Picking this? up the next video with something else, probably. Probably something else. How is this game, by the way? Uh, it's misleading. Is it as terrible as it looks? Kinda. Yeah, okay. I mean, it plays well, it's just most everything does not show you where you're supposed to go. So it'll take you all the way up a huge path to a dead end. No. Oh. Then you just go back. It looks really nice. It looks pretty. But as we learned from uh, some of the Sonic games we've been playing, Looks can be deceiving. Looks are most certainly deceiving. <gasps> Look, it tells you how to jump around corners. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Wouldn't it be nice to have that, like... When you start the four game? Four levels ago? Yeah. Nope. 
Nope, we're gonna end it here. Okay. Kay. Goodbye.